Perez and Leicester are first to show. It's another assist from Vardy for Grave. He can finish. Oh, and he can. And Leicester finally have their second goal and are keeping their Champions League hopes going. Yes, lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now, today, I'm going to bring you guys the Leicester versus Sheffield United match review. So, the boys and girls, what a three points that was from Leicester City. We are back, people. After that awful result against Bournemouth last time out, the Foxes are well and truly bounced back with a brilliant performance and overall a brilliant result against a very, very strong Sheffield United side at the King Park Stadium. Of course, it ended Leicester City 2, Sheffield United 0. Goals coming from Ayosi Perez and Demario Gray. But overall, what a brilliant performance that was from Leicester City. We are now well and truly in the mix for Champions League football. So with that being said, today I'm going to bring you guys my match review for Leicester City versus Sheffield United after the Foxes got three points back at the King Power Stadium. Today, I'm going to run you guys through my thoughts on yesterday's game and towards the end of today's video, I'll go for my play ratings from the side which started today against Sheffield United. But just before we get into it, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video if you're going to enjoy today's Leicester versus Sheffield United match review. I'm going to be bringing much, much more reactions, type of reviews to the game going forward on the channel. So if you guys are going to enjoy this video and want to see some more videos just like this, make sure you head down below and turn that subscribe button blue because we don't want to see any, any white around here or grey, do we? So yeah, go and smash a light and turn that blue if you're going to enjoy today's video. Also, while you're down there, make sure you do subscribe, help see my face on your screen before. A big thanks to 1,200 subscribers. A massive shout out to Connor in yesterday's stream forget me that but we are now on the road to 1300 subscribers so if you're on your answer and haven't seen my face on your screen before make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button you know it is free it doesn't cost anything so you know go and smash that subscribe button also turn on my channel post notifications so you know there's any videos on the channel just like this one follow my social medias they'll be down there links or them will be in the description down below and also let me know your thoughts on yesterday's game in the comment section down below or let's do go to get champions league let me know in the comment section down below but Without further ado, let's get into the Leicester versus Sheffield United match review. So then, lads, what a... Leicester City are back, people. Yes, I said that against Crystal Palace and we still lost 4-1 to Bournemouth. But now I do believe we are back in action because that was a brilliant performance against Sheffield United yesterday at the King Power Stadium. The Blades beat Chelsea 3-0 last time out and we absolutely dominated them to be perfectly honest. They only had one real chance in the whole game and overall that is a massive three points as a result and also for confidence for the players because we are now really in the mix for Champions League football. Europa League is confirmed but I don't want to go into Azerbaijan away. I want to be going to Barcelona away, Real Madrid away not Bangladesh away. So just overall, it's a massive three points for the Foxes. So as the Premier League does come to a close, this is a massive result in the race for Champions League football. Of course, Manchester United still beating Crystal Palace. Chelsea only a point ahead of Leicester City right now. We maintain our spot fourth place in the Premier League table. However, this three points was massive because if he, if he did not win this game, Champions League could have been over if Man, if Man United beating Crystal Palace. We can still afford to lose against Tottenham because everything is going to go down to Manchester United at home in the final game of the season. However, moving on to the game itself, then it was a brilliant performance from Leicester at the weekend, well, it was on Thursday night. But anyway, Thursday night yesterday, it was a brilliant performance from Leicester. First minute, we just looked to go straight out of the box. We went at Sheffield United and you can really tell that Leicester wanted to respond after that Bournemouth result. And it's fair to say, we... We really did because we could have scored at least four on that game. Overall, it's a great performance from Leicester and it gives me so much confidence heading into the remains of the season. I really do believe that Leicester could get Champions League football. You can really see that the intent was there and against a very, very good Sheffield United side to absolutely dominate the game like that. We could have even won about 5-0 in the end. Sheffield United only having, their own, having one real chance in the second half. You can really tell that the intent was there from the players to get out and really get out of that Sheffield United side. And we really did. To be honest, it's probably one of the best performances of our season to be perfectly honest. I mean, Sheffield United are a very, very, very uh, a good side. So, to be honest, to get the three points in a, in a dominant manner, we could have easily won that game by more. Overall, it's a really impressive result, in my opinion. So then, moving on to Brendan Rodgers' team selections for yesterday's game against Sheffield United. So, Brendan did go with the 3-4-1-2 formation. It was the formation which I predicted in my match preview, which didn't manage to go up on YouTube for, um, yeah, the lesson about that, the better, but he did go with the 3-4-1-2 formation. And I, and I said in my preview, we need to have three at the back, three centre-backs to deal with Sheffield United's crossing threat. And we, and we really did that. We forced Sheffield United to go long and they can't create any chances off there because both strikers in McBurney and McGoldrick are not the fastest. And overall, fair play to Brendan Rodgers because that formation did 
really work against Sheffield United. So, of course, Brendan Rodgers went with Schmeichel in goal. He went with a back three of, of course, Johnny Evans, Ryan Bennett, a big Wes Morgan coming in. Fair play to Wes Morgan, to be honest. It's a brilliant performance. But I'll get on to the play rating of Leicester. Of course, he went with the four midfield, the two central midfielders being Wilfred and Diddy, Yuri Tidemans. Right wing back slash right mid, James Justin. At left wing back, left mid. Fair play, Luke Thomas. What a performance. The youngster from Leicester coming into the lineup had an absolutely a brilliant performance against Sheffield United. Of course, Perez behind Jamie Vardy and Harvey Barnes came into the lineup to, to line up alongside Vardy up top. However, going into the game when the team news came up an hour before kickoff, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I wasn't confident at all, especially with Luke Thomas coming in. I didn't expect him to have the performance, which he did. And of course, Wes Morgan as well. I didn't, I didn't expect Big Wes to have a such a good performance as well. So fair play to Brendan Rodgers because overall the formation works so well against Sheffield United and we just dominated them all over the park. Defensively, we were very, very strong. In the midfield as well, we created so many chances. Like I said, we could easily win that game about 4-0. So overall, it was, a, it was a brilliant performance and I think Brendan Rodgers has to take a lot of credit for that as well. But with the team news in mind, a Yosi Perez in that cam really des deserves a shout in my opinion. Of course, got on the score sheet, but in his cam, his natural position, he offers so much threat. Yes, he's been playing in the in a wide position because James Madison is the cam, but James Madison, you have got some competition in the cam role because Big up Yosi Perez because he was brilliant yesterday. Also, with the five at the back slash three formation, it does allow the wing backs to really get forward. We saw that with Luke Thomas getting the assist for the first goal. James Justin also got forward as well. And the centre backs, the wide centre backs, which of course with Johnny Evans and Ryan Bennett, they, I think they've pushed up on quite a few occasions and they can spread the ball out of play. Overall, with the five at the back formation, Johnny Evans has been the central centre back. But of course, Wes Morgan came in, he was the central centre back. And Johnny Evans, Ryan Bennett did play some brilliant balls out wide to really get Leicester on the front foot. And overall, that formation, to be perfectly honest, works so well against a very good Sheffield United side. So, moving on to the game itself, then, just like I said, Leicester came out fighting, trying to correct chances earlier on, and overall, trying to get a goal earlier on. Obviously, it didn't come, but Leicester really did show the fight and the intent to try and get at Sheffield United. We had a couple of half chances here and there. Jamie Vardy having the first real chance of the game. Ball came in it got cleared and they had a second bite and they caused a good save from Dean Henderson Ozzy Perez had two chances as well one from the header one from across which he volleyed straight into the hands of Dean Henderson Harvey Barnes nearly got on the end of one of them however the first goal did come in the 29th minute Ozzy Perez driving through the middle of the park going towards the left hand side plays it to Luke Thomas one touch crosses it in comes back to Ozzy Perez a very good one too and overall it's a brilliant finish from Perez took one touch played it into the bottom left hand corner past Dean Henderson and it was 1-0 to Leicester City in the 29th minute and it's fair to say it was heavily deserved from Leicester. Sheffield United barely even had any chances in the first half. I don't think Casper was tested out. Well, we had a couple of corners here and there but overall it was a very, very dominant performance from Leicester. And even after the first goal, Leicester continued to get Sheffield United didn't have any real chances, but the intent was there, and that's the main thing for me. We showed the fight, we showed the intent to try and get at Sheffield United, and it ended at half time. Leicester won, Sheffield United nil. So, moving into the second half, then. So, Brendan Rodgers finally made no changes. He learned after Bournemouth not to change a winning thing, and it's fair to say, but Leicester came out fighting once again in the second half. Sheffield United came into it slightly better, had a couple of half chances here and there, but nothing to really test Casper Schmeichel. However, Leicester had some absolutely huge chances. Harvey Barnes having two really really good chances to be honest he really should have put one of them away but the first one did come through Jamie Vardy played one on one and it hit the post it went just wide for a goal kick for Sheffield United then moving on to Harvey Barnes's chances Jamie Vardy as well fair play to Vardy yes you say Vardy is the goal scorer but Vardy was very very creative in the game against Sheffield United he could have got two assists or he got the assist for Demario Gray but he could have easily got two assists if Harvey Barnes could shoot but yeah Harvey Barnes had a couple of massive chances the first one had a slight angle on it straight at Dean Henderson but the second one, he could have sweated it to Yosi Paris to get his second, but he hit it straight at Henderson once again. Yeah, Barnes is in the right positions, but he really needs to be putting them away, does Harvey Barnes, because we, like I said, we could have easily won that game about 4 0 in the end. Harvey Barnes having two really, really big chances. Jamie Ward, like I said, at the forefront of it, creating the chances. Barnes, yes, he's in the he's in the right positions, but like I said, he needs to be putting them away if he wants to progress in this career. Obviously, Harvey Barnes is really growing this year, but that's the only thing lacking with Harvey Barnes. It is his finishing. However, Damari Gray did come on, so did Hamza Chalji, which was a bit of a concern, but fair play. Brandon Rogers did it. Yosi Perez came off. Obviously, like I said, Hamza Charge came on and also Harvey Barnes was replaced by Damari Gray. Jamie Vardy at the front of it again. A good ball forward from Johnny Evans. Vardy, I think he spread the play. I can't really remember. He found the Gray. It's a, it's a pretty dodgy touch from Gray, but he managed to get a brilliant finish, in my opinion, into the bottom left-hand corner. Brilliant impact substitution from Brendan Rodgers and Damari Gray performing well. 
To be honest, Damari Gray is the super sub for Leicester City. He always performs off the bench and today he did manage to get on the score sheet. It's fair play to Damari Gray because it was a very, very good finish. His touch wasn't the best, but he managed to dig it out and find the bottom left-hand corner to make it Leicester City 2, Sheffield United 0. Sheffield United had a couple of chances. The only real chance came from a corner where Wes Morgan got a slight perfection on it, causing Casper to make a good save. But overall, it finished at the King Power, Leicester City 2, Sheffield United 0. So then, lads, that is it for my thoughts on the game. So moving on to my player rating. So this is where I rate each player's performance out of 10 from the side which started against Sheffield United yesterday. To start off in goal with Kasper Schmeichel, I'm going to be going Kasper a, a 7 out of 10 to be honest. He didn't really have too much to do. His save was brilliant, a clean sheet, asking even confidence as well. So overall, it was a good performance from Kasper. His distribution was quite good as well. But overall, did Kasper have really much to do? Not really. So overall, I can only real give him a 7. But fair play to Kasper. He did, he did enough. He was solid. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for Kasper Schmeichel. Moving into the back three, then to start us off with the right centre back with Ryan Bennett. I'm going to give Ryan Bennett an 8 out of 10 for his absolutely brilliant today against Sheffield United. Obviously, he got the clean sheet going forward as well. He played some brilliant balls towards the wingers, which really got Leicester on the counter attack as well. So, yeah, 8 out of 10 for Ryan Bennett. Moving into the central centre back, Big Wes Morgan. What a performance from Big Wes. I'm going to be giving Big Wes an 8 out of 10 as well. I thought he came in very, very well. Obviously, Wes, he's got the experience, but he's barely even played this season. But fair play to the captain coming back in. And to be honest, he was very, very solid was Wes, was Wes Morgan. So hopefully Wes can start the remainder of the games. Obviously, only two games left on the season. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for Big Wes. And the left side of the centre back, Johnny Evans, 8 out of 10 for him as well. Absolutely brilliant at the back once again. Same with Ryan Bennett. The two wide centre backs really got forward for Leicester, driving through. Kind of, kind of like a Harry Maguire type of thing, spreading the play, getting Leicester on the counter results. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for Johnny Evans. So they're moving into the midfield four, then to start off in the right mid slash right wing back position with James Justin. I'm going to give the youngster a 7 out of 10. I thought it was a pretty average performance from JJ today. I think he went missing in the game at some parts, but overall it was a solid performance from JJ and it's good to see him and the defence get a clean sheet as well. I thought he could have done a bit more going forward, but overall it was a, it was a clean sheet overall and a 7 out of 10 performance. He didn't do, do anything wrong. So yeah, a very, very solid performance from JJ. So 7 out of 10 for him. Moving into the midfield two, then starts off with Wilfred Diddy. What a performance from Wilfred Diddy today. 9 out of 10 every day of the week from Wilfred Diddy. Absolutely brilliant in the midfield. Bro breaking up the play, making crunching tackles. Every single minute, Wilf seems to be breaking up the play and getting Leicester on the front foot. And that is what we've missed since football has returned. When Wilfred Diddy is not good, Leicester are not good. But when Wilfred Diddy plays well, Leicester City are, are, are absolutely insufferable in my opinion. Wilfred Diddy, the amount of times he broke up the play, turned the play around, get Leicester on the front foot, is, is, that's what creates half the chances. We've seen how many times Leicester were counter-attacking with Harvey Barnes' chances. We've got Harvey Vardy hitting the post. And of course, Demar Gray's goal came from Leicester quickly winning the ball back, playing it long, and Wilfred Diddy was at the forefront of that. So yeah, 9 out of 10 for Wolf, because that was a brilliant performance from Wilfred Diddy. Same with the other centre midfielder, Yuri Tillemans, 8 out of 10 for me. Yuri Tillemans was absolutely brilliant once again. Since football has returned with James Madison not on the side, Yuri Tillemans has been absolutely brilliant in there. He's back to his best as Yuri Tillemans, and overall, it's very, very good to see that Yuri is back to his best, and he's still got it in him. He created so many chances today, really got Leicester on the front foot as well, playing it into plays like Perez in the composition, he can spread it out wide. Yuri, Yuri Tillemans overall, it was a brilliant performance, absolute midfield maestro from Yuri Tillemans. But yeah, 8 out of 10 for Yuri. And moving into left wing back position, Luke Thomas. 10 out of 10 for my opinion. What a debut from Luke Thomas. Leicester born, Leicester born and bred. What a performance that was from Luke Thomas coming into the side on his Leicester debut in a big game like that, a high pressure game against Sheffield United, fighting for Champions League football. And to have a performance like that, get the assist, be solid defensively, and even he made a couple of big chances for Perez as well. Overall, it was an outstanding performance for Luke Thomas. So, you, Luke, if you are watching this, well done, mate. Ben Chilwell, move aside, Luke Thomas coming to the lineup. 10 out of 10 for Luke Thomas, brilliant performance. So then, moving into the front three, well, the one-two, starting off with a cam, Ayosi Perez, 9 out of 10 for me from Ayosi Perez, got his name on the score sheet once again, created so many good chances as well, it was disappointing to see him get taken off, but overall, how the charger came on, made Leicester a bit more defensive, and obviously we managed to score the goal through Demari Gray as well, so yeah, I'm going to give Ayosi Perez a 9 out of 10, of course, got his name on the score sheet with a good finish, and overall, it was a very, very good performance from Ayosi Perez once again, and moving into the two strikers, then starting off, with the left one with Jamie Vardy, 9 out of 10 for me as well. 
did he get his name on the score sheet, but we really saw the different side of Jamie Vardy, the creative side of Jamie Vardy. Could have easily got about three assists today if Harvey Barnes could shoot, but of course got the assist for Demari Gray's goal, hit the post as well, but the amount of chance he created for Leicester, get, he just he got down the ball line, brand players into play and had a great performance. Yeah, 9 out of 10 for Vardy. And finally, moving into Harvey Barnes up front, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. The reason behind it is Harvey Barnes cannot shoot to save his life. Realistically, I think I could have scored two of his chances. But overall, we have to give Harvey Barnes credit for getting into the positions, knowing he has developed a lot this season. But like I said, the only real thing lacking with Harvey Barnes is his finishing. So yeah, 7 out of 10 for Harvey Barnes. But overall, it wasn't the worst performances from Harvey at all. So then, lads, that is it for my Leicester versus Sheffield United match review. What to win? Back to the ways for Leicester City. We are now well and truly on the road to securing a champion spot for the up and coming season. The pressure is still on. We move on to Tottenham next door, which is another big game. Manchester United, though, last game of the season is simply huge for the Foxes. But anyway, what three points that was against Sheffield United. If you have enjoyed today's video, drop a like. If you want to see some more videos just like this, make sure you tell me by dropping a like. Also, comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't already, lads. But yeah, that is it for today's video. This has been my Leicester versus Sheffield United match review by Ben Sports. So I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Peace, guys. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my.